Right now, absentee ballots are on their way to Georgia voters who are in the military or living overseas. And in just a few days, counties will start sending out regular absentee ballots. But there are still some concerns about possible delays because of those ongoing postal problems that we've been following for a long time now. 11 Live has been looking into this issue since February when the new Palmetto facility opened. Our Liza Lucas is sharing tips from experts to make sure your vote gets where it needs to be on time and count it. It's very, very frustrating and you end up just going in a big circle. Julie Rice is among those still searching for missing mail and packages bouncing around the Palmetto facility. Her family also now watching the mail situation in Georgia for another reason. Her college son is planning to vote absentee for the November election. I hope that he actually gets the ballot, first of all. And second of all, that it gets to where it needs to be and it's counted. It's a process counties are preparing for behind the scenes as the impact of mail delays in Georgia still linger. The March presidential preference primary was pretty rough. Zach Manifold yep. is election supervisor for Gwinnett County. We saw hundreds of ballots come back uh, late. He says mail service was better for the May primary. The question is whether the Postal Service can deliver for November. We don't feel really great about it, so we're still telling people um, be as early as possible. The Georgia Secretary of State's office echoes that advice. The agency not answering our request for specifics on how it will monitor any mail delays, only reiterating that if you're voting by mail, vote early. Are American citizens going to be able to trust mail-in ballots? Absolutely. Last week, Postmaster General Louis DeJoy aimed to reassure members of Congress that the agency will be ready. We rifle through 300 million pieces of mail as they move through the system uh, and look for, look for ballots and pull them out and expedite them through a variety of different ways ac across the nation. DeJoy also saying election mail routinely outperforms regular mail service. So what are the plans to make sure ballots arrive on time? DeJoy says USPS will reinforce internal training, continue to address ballot envelopes, designs that may cause ballot mail to loop, be incorrectly delivered or returned to sender. The Postal Service will also prioritize election mail ahead of other mail and deploy special ballot monitors. But the Postmaster General says don't delay and still aim to mail your ballot at least one week before the deadline. Despite this, Rice is not convinced, given mail service in Georgia still has not rebounded to levels prior to the Palmetto facility launch. I have zero trust in how they're going to be able to handle the influx of mail-in ballots. Liza Lucas, 11 Alive News. All right, let's take a look at all the key dates over the next five weeks. October 7th, the deadline to register to vote. Also the first day counties can start mailing out regular absentee ballots. Absentee ballots must be received by 7 p.m. on Election Day, which is November 5th. If you go to the post office and have your ballot postmarked at the counter before then, it will still be counted. You also have the option to drop your ballot in the county's absentee mail drop box or you can hand deliver it to your county registrar. Again, Monday is the last day to register to vote.